I'm J.K. McKee, editor of Messianic Apologetics. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for future teachings and updates. What is a Divine Identity Christology? How does a Divine Identity Christology serve as strong evidence of Yeshua the Messiah being God? For those who advocate a high Christology of the Lord Yeshua genuinely being God and uncreated, our theological explanations of God have to account for a variety of factors, most of which are indeed detectable within the Gospels and Apostolic letters. One significant factor is how you maintain a religious ethos of monotheism, Deuteronomy 6.4, of the God of Israel being the one true God, while at the same time permitting honor, reverence, and worship of Yeshua, not to the detriment of the yod heh vav -Heh God of the Hebrew Scriptures, John 5.23, Philippians 2.10-11, and Hebrews 1.6. What is the most significant component to one's evaluation of the Lordship of Yeshua. Within the Hebrew Tanakh, the God of Israel is certainly designated by the divine name yod heh -Heh, which in most Bibles is rendered as the Lord, following Second Temple Jewish convention of not speaking God's proper name aloud, Mishnah Yoma 6.2. The Greek Septuagint translation of the Hebrew Tanakh rendered yod heh -Heh with the title kurios, which in a classical context can mean of persons having power or authority over, lord or master of, from the Liddell Scott lexicon. There are references seen in the Gospels when Yeshua of Nazareth is referred to as kurios. It is something more akin to sir, but there will be other places, particularly where there is some significant Tanakh quotation made involving the Lord or yod heh vav -Heh, where an ascription of such a status is seemingly given to Yeshua. Romans 10.23 and Joel 2.32, Philippians 2.10-11 and Isaiah 45.23. Is the statement, Yeshua is Lord, merely a declaration of his supremacy, or is it also intended to be an assertion of his nature as actually being the Lord God or yod heh vav -Heh of the Tanakh? For certain, various resources and scores of books and commentaries will conclude that Yeshua the Messiah being kurios in the apostolic scriptures bears some significant connection with the divine name yod heh vav -Heh in the Tanakh. This is especially true true when various Pauline letters include grace and peace issued from God our Father and the Lord Yeshua the Messiah, Romans 1.7. The close proximity of God being referred to as Father and Yeshua the Messiah as Lord would be taken as natural evidence of a balanced Godhead where Yeshua is integrated into the divine identity. Consider 1 Corinthians 8.5, reworking the Deuteronomy 6.4 Shema. And that the intention of the apostles was to present the nature of Yeshua along Jewish monotheistic lines and not as some separate deity. Those who hold to a high Christology would be quite keen to conclude that Yeshua being Lord or Kurios is widely and rightly to be associated with how kurios in the Greek Septuagint is connected to the divine name yod heh vav -Heh. Not all are convinced that Yeshua being kurios is to be associated with the divine name yod heh vav -Heh, and would instead conclude that since the title kurios can indeed be used to be speaking of human people as lords or masters, that Yeshua being kurios should be approached from him just being the master. While the sacred name only movement 
widely abhors the English title Lord and is frequently witnessed to use Master instead. For those who have little issue with English terms, how disingenuous would it be for Kurios to be translated as Lord when it clearly refers to the Lord God or Yotevave of the Tanakh with some significant quotation in view, but then when Yeshua is titled Kurios for it to only be translated as Master. Should there not be some uniformity with readers left to decide for themselves how to approach Yeshua as Lord? Those who hold to a low Christology will largely deny that there is any connection to be made between Kurios and yod when referring to Yeshua of Nazareth, leaving significant questions to be made when there is Tanakh intertextuality in view. If you all found this content enjoyable and useful, please be sure to drop a thumbs up for this video. As always, we thank you for your continued support of our ministry efforts. God bless and shalom, and we'll see you again with our next update.